You're not going to see what I'm taking out of my ear yet. Give me a second. These, which again, you don't see, are the Unique Melody Martians. And they are handcrafted with love. And I believe that. I was at Can Jam this year, 2019, and there's a couple other Unique Melody IMs there that I really, really, really want to get a hold of, including their um, 3D printed, I guess, laser centered titanium, and they weigh nothing. Oh my God. So I've had uh, these Martians since the dawn of time, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Then the dinosaurs died, and then man, somewhere between the dinosaurs dying and man coming to fruition, is when I was alone these Martians. And I'm going to put back on Yossi Horikawa's, Yossi Horikawa's letter for a second. Yeah, these are spectacular at imaging, because that's the song that tests. If you don't know, Yossi Horikawa letter. I play it a couple times. Things just moving back and forth. There I am, in case you are unaware. Oh. Here is, here they is, and they're rather large. They have a rather big stature, and luckily they fit me, because there's been a couple very big IMs. When you try to shove them in your ear hole, it's just like, no. That's what it looks like. And that's a no. But these things, regardless of their size, are actually pretty ergonomic. And you could see the indicator for right and left. They print the serial number, the name, and a big R in red. And they print the serial number, the name, and a big L in blue. Okay, back to the review. Look at the... The very first time I met the people who um, work for Unique Melody, IFI them, um, they gave me one of these, and I was like, what? Is that a machined aluminum case, which is very fine threads that you have to get just right? Come on. Here it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. No, I messed it up. God damn it. There it is. I got it. This. This is your carrying case. Now, these are a pricey item, so you expect when you get it out of the box, you expect to pick it up and have it say, I am inside box. Oh, uh -huh. and you pull out. These actually came in multiple colors. I think I have another one somewhere in red. And it is a fully machined aluminum. That helps if you grease the, the threads because they're, they're so shallow and they're so big. Then there's a rubber seal. And then if you look, this one has a rubber insert to keep things from banging around so you put that back in there it's got a rubber top insert that's serious like i usually when i put things in their cases they're coming with me on a long travel trip the only problem i have with something like this is you have to spool the wire which this wire is not very big or bulky like the 10 t3 has a big bulky wire it's an amazing wire but it's still big and bulky and this is a much smaller wire, so you can't get away with it. But uh, I don't. I wouldn't try to pocket this. People are going to be like, "Why do you have a hockey puck in your in your pocket? Is that a hockey puck? Are you just happy to see me?" There, I got it. Got it. First thing on the second try. First thing on the second try. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. I'm not using the stock tips on this. It comes with these white, slightly memory foam tips. As you can see, they will expand rather quickly which i prefer over the um complies thank you that was my brain stopping going hmm what's for dinner to oh comply tips um i like them but i switched them out to my favorite which are Daconi's. these are a box of the nuggets but the Daconi foams are not a memory foam at all. They just bounce back quickly. And I think I prefer them on these this way. Other accessories, it only comes with a foam, which is interesting. It only comes with foam tips. Most will come with silicone tips and people will pick. The fact that it only came with foam tips, I like because I only use foam tips anyway. That may change. I have a couple of pairs of items on the table of doom behind me that might need to get silicone tips because they don't sound very good. 
unique melody cleaning rag. You got a quarter inch adapter and a headphone adapter and a little cleaning stick for cleaning out ear gook. That all sat up top of here. There's the box. The wire is, I wasn't sure what to make of this end. And I know this is not very important. People want to know how things sound. How's it sound, Zeos? What are you talking about this for? This is your first Z review. Zeos gives a shit about everything equally. So if I think this Velcro strap deserves five minutes of screen time, it gets it. It doesn't, by the way. But I will talk about the wire a little bit. It's got this old connector. It looks like a 1980s connector, but it turns out it's actually very nice because look how flexible that strain relief is. And it's just pla It's actually a rubberized plastic. It feels nice. It doesn't look very expensive. It doesn't look like a $700 IEM should have it on there, but it works into a braided cable that's perfectly straight if you pull it. If you don't pull it, it's janked. And this has been undone for a while. Remember the dinosaurs? Yeah. So, I don't know. It could be the wire build, what's in it. Maybe it's like silver nitrite titanium, and that's what's causing it to stay a little janky, even though I've had it undone forever. No, no, straight now. Just the split, and I approve of this. I approve of this. I don't care how much these cost. Just a piece of uh, heat shrink right there. Just that's it, from here to there, heat shrink. You got a little slide so that you can um, cinch them together like that, so they don't fall apart when you wrap them up. You get these flexible black tubes, which go over your ears, and you put them in place. Hold on, I'm trying to make it look like I don't have ear gook everywhere, but I, I kind of do. The outside just says UM. There's a little tiny hole here. And then that's it. Big, thick, thick boys, the size of my thumb. Like if you chewed, you, ever, when, you know when you put pieces of gum in your mouth and you just keep putting pieces of gum in your mouth and you take out that wad at the end, it's like, damn. That's what these feel like in the hand. They're huge. I think most Unique Melody stuff is huge. Except for maybe that sensor titanium stuff. It's a little bit thinner. How do they sound, Zios? Well, you mind if I put them back in? Because I, I prefer to describe. Now I'm using the... Uh, THX 789, um, because I have it. Um, outputting from the Gashelli Labs Enoch 2 into that. Low gain, about 10.30. I, I pull this pretty tight. These don't need to be rolled. You just sort of like push them in and give them like a wiggle. You give them like a one of those and they're in. I will, of course, link to these tips and these IMs so I can find them. There's a lot of not in stocks because I've... Uh, apparently, when the dinosaurs died, they also sold out all of these IMs. I got a good seal. They're honestly comfortable for the size of them. I was worried it was going to be like jamming a goddamn 12-sided die in my ear. And it's not. Move this stuff. Pick up my beautiful remotes. Hit next track. Now, this isn't a very sound stagey song. I'm going to try to describe these as, as quickly as possible because it's a, it's a fading glimpse of words in my brain. These are very, very comfortable sounding. They don't offend. They do not offend. I've had some... The Tin T2 Pros, $60, offended a little bit. They got that treble a little bit, a little bit too far up there. And I was like, oh, and I backed off. And I wouldn't want to listen to those for long periods of time. The Tin T2s, absolutely loved them. These are beautifully soft. You get you got a good swath of detail. It almost sounds like you're listening to music not quite in a room, but in like solid headphones. Like it's rare that that's the case. It doesn't sound super wide. It's not like supernatural soundstage. Uh like well the U12 Ts or the uh, even the FH5 sounds a little wider than this. But you, it sort of reminded me of the uh, One More Triples, where you're getting great imaging right here, right in the middle. You get this beautiful little swath of detail. Then the bass comes in, and it's just this bigger entity around you. Not necessarily in crazy wide soundstage. Like Westworld, the main theme for Westworld just came on. And things are coming from my left and from my right, but not like way away. It's so warm. It 
sets. This is a warm set, a happy set. I encourage IMs to sound like this. The stark, <clears throat> the stark harshness that people try to shove into an IM most times to just be like, look, look at all the detail. We're just gonna stack detail on top of it till you fucking puke. Do you hear all of it? And it's like, ugh. These are just laid back. They're laid back. They've got a very, very nice mid, mid bass tone. Not necessarily sub bass. I'm not here jamming to, let me think, Oh Mama. Right. Uh, oh Mama from Run the Jewels. Wallpapers. You can't see that. Give it a second. You know, the bass is there. It doesn't reach down to the sub, into the like the under 20, under 18 values. But it's it's just like this big swath from 80 to 30. It's just, mm. It's got these big mmms. And it's not, nothing about them is offensive. That's number one with an IM. If I'm going to put you in my ear, don't offend me. And these don't. They give me just enough soundstage, incredibly good imaging, even if it's a tight amount of imaging, even if it's just this, and it's not like this. The fact that it's so accurate, and Yoshi Horikawa's letter was like straight across my brain. It sounds like sounds are actually moving inside and then outside of my head. It's interesting. I wouldn't even call that imaging. I, I That's like something I've only heard with dual driver setups, like the one more triples, where it's like, well, we have this separate driver, then we have this base driver. So of course things are moving in and out. Well, this is doing that. This is moving in and out of my brain. And I enjoy it thoroughly. Again, the treble is never offensive. The bass while it doesn't go into the sub level, is non-distorted. I lust after greatness. I'm aiming right at his ovaries. <sighs> what a lyricist. Hold on. I'm just going to jump through some tracks right now. See if anything pops out. Okay. You have to find this song. It's on Stockfish Records. It's by a guy named, bear with me now, Beo, B-E-O, Brockhausen, B-R-O-C-K-H-A-U-S-E-N. And it's called Wolkenmeer, starting with a W, W-O-L-K-E-N-M-E-E-R. And it's on the Closer to the Music, Volume 3, Track 18. And it's just these, like, not bell, like tubular bells, but they bounce left and right. And the wishy-washy sound that that does to my head is orgasmic. It's like a wah-wah on a guitar. It's like... Is it a xylophone? Did they put a mic on a xylophone and he's just xylophoning? I don't know. When I get a $700 set of IMs, I tend to not want them to be good because I'm a cheap asshole. Yes, I, I own $2,000 IMs, but I won those. That doesn't count. These, which are going back, by the way, after if the owner hasn't passed away, if his grandchildren are still around to receive them, are going back, and they're going back with a little bit of sadness, a little touch, because I could listen to these all day. It's rare. Tin T2s. Absolutely respect them. Get them out in the car. They're $50. They fit this perfect niche of thing. But what if you have more money? Then you have FH5s, and then you get in that, that, that big, wide base. What's the next step up? If the Tin T2s are my low-end game, and then you up it up to the FH5s, it's probably these then Andromeda, 
And then the sky is the fucking limit. So that's why they're getting their own video. That's why I'm going to take the picture and the thumbnail, hang them off of some anime girl here because they just deserve it. And I hope you can find a set. They, again, I my fault. I should have done this review months ago. I can't listen to that song anymore. I'm going to get old. When I get silent, you can tell a good I am when I'm listening to it and I just forget you people are here. Ah, fuck you people. You don't need to I'm here to listen to music. Remember? That's why you're here on this channel. I hope you're here on this channel because you love music. Not because you love spending money on amps and DAX and DAX and amps and vertical monitors and anime figurines. Although that's a good thing. You want to know about that new way to listen. That's the point. You're not here. No one's here to get that new amp so they can look at that new amp and polish it. No. You get that amp, you turn music on, and then you fucking forget about the new pieces of equipment. Forget about these unique Melody Martians. Put them in your ears, shut off the lights, and listen. And that's exactly what I like to do with these. That's probably why I was having such a hard time reviewing them, because I was just putting them in and just, just using them. Just using them. Back on. Okay. Oh, he's got an A-plus rating from Z. Because Z has a thing. If you have a very intense $4,000 headphone, I will respect it. I will nod my head. I will say, good job. And then I'll say, now take these back. I don't listen to them. But these, on the other hand, I, I, I kind of enjoy. These are enjoyable to listen to. Which is... Not saying that a lot of other ones aren't enjoyable, but I feel like if you paid $700 for them, you could hear it in it. And I'm going to move on. Wallpaper. Description. Links to these, wherever that might be. Music Tech has them. There's an old Amazon post. I'll link that. I'm also going to link... Um, stuff and things. I don't know. What else did I talk about during this video? That's what Future Zeos has to do is to watch this. And when I mentioned the thing 10 minutes ago, that's what I have to link in the description. Uh, yeah, the Patreon has nothing to do with this video. Although it will... No, it won't do that either. Yard sale? No. Whatever. The Patreon allows you to get all my wallpapers for two bucks. Even though they're not mine, I didn't draw them. But I do have a collection archive that if you want to check out every wallpaper I've ever used, that's there. And when the yard sales do happen, and I'll have a couple tin T2s, tin T2 Pros, and a set of tin T3s in there. You may want to check that out. In other words, these are a yes. They're not very pretty, but they're very good. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.